Hello there, my Scorpio Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh my goodness. The Hierophant there with that Ace of Cups is like blinded by the light. Uh, so what's this about with you, Scorpios? I like the Hierophant energy. Ooh, the Hierophant and the Gemini vibes. Ooh, so someone's sending you peace, love, and light. I like this energy with you. This should be happy energy. Hmm. What you got going on, Scorpios? There's the two of pentacles. Things switching up for you. This is like get ready for retrograde as well. Uh, Scorpios, your moon nodes could be switching up. Ooh, the three of swords. Ooh, the Scorpio card. Oh my, Scorpios. Some of y'all are doing really good, but... You're, uh, look at that. This is the Dame Darcy deck. It seems rather fitting for this month of, uh, Cancer. So, damn Scorpios. Don't muck up your energy now. Be mindful not to muck up your energy. There's the Queen of Pentacles. There's the Eight of Cups. There's the Two of Swords. And there's the Three of Cups. Uh-oh. Some of y'all do be mindful. You could be dealing with somebody who needs $50 to make you holler because they get paid to do the wild thing. Uh, I don't feel like there's too much of a coincidence here. This Queen of Pentacles there with the Three of Cups. Someone definitely wants to take advantage of you. Someone wants this opportunity with you, but you need to make sure that you just stay focused on what's important to you right now. I keep telling y'all, stay out of the fucking water, Scorpios. Stay out of your emotions. Basis of this is the Seven of Cups. There's the Knight of Wands, or King of Wands, excuse me. There's a Libra energy. And there's the Two of Wands. Someone is definitely counting your blessings. I don't feel like there's a whole lot of coincidence with uh, relationships or partnerships that you have. So be mindful of who's in your friends group. Be mindful of who's coming new and to those of you if you're dating. Those of you be very mindful of the overly passionate connections. Damn Scorpio. You should be like chill as fuck. That's what makes the difference with this energy. That's why someone is unhappy. Because you aren't like overly focused. Everything is like nice and balanced. You notice that water energy with you. So emotionally, you're not overwhelmed. You're staying moisturized. You're staying hydrated. Uh, some of you, you're not overly uh, thirsty when it comes to romantic relationships or partnerships. Because just because someone shows you some time and attention doesn't mean you're going to over romanticize it. You got that Queen of Pentacles. Someone is definitely uh, very aware of uh, what you have to offer. They're definitely around some low vibrational energies, but you have choices, you have options, so the choice is always yours. Because that really feels like, it's just a little bitty pissing country place. Mm. What's the vibe bottom of the deck? Two of pentacles with the six of pentacles. So someone's definitely paying attention. Someone knows your value and your worth. But this is like, uh, be mindful of that sort of stuck stagnant energy. Some of y'all make sure you don't get your shit stolen. So if you're doing like random hookups, be mindful. Be mindful. Your wallet, your purse. There's the full energy. There's the ten of pentacles. There's the page of wands. And there's the page of cups. This is like new energy. Be mindful of the opportunists. If you're going somewhere new or you're traveling somewhere new, be mindful. Be mindful. Four of pentacles there with the nine of wands with the nine of pentacles. Don't carry too much cash on you either. If you're traveling, some of you, if you're taking like cruise, if you're cruising...
Damn Scorpios. Don't be taken advantage of, but some of you, this is like normal energy you should know. So if you're traveling somewhere new or you're doing something new, make sure that you're aware of what you need to be aware of. So you're always got that sort of safety uh, vest on. You've got that sort of uh, safety jacket on. Um, I mean, whatever the fuck. I keep telling you all to stay out of the fucking water, Scorpios. So be mindful of that energy. A lot of catfishing vibes on this too, Scorpios. So that could be where that water energy is. Who are you dealing with? What are you dealing with? What's that sort of vibe about? Page of Wands, Page of Cups. Some of y'all be mindful of your connections. Those of you that aren't focused on relationships or partnerships. I know a lot of you come to tarot for love, but damn, you can be overwhelmed by that and just get taken advantage of. Cash grab energy. I definitely feel like you're single, but damn. Maybe it's better to stay single for a minute here. It's a fertile energy and definitely make sure that you're being very mindful of your family planning and your health. So, you know, condoms prevent more things than just pregnancy. It's uh, some of y'all that's the diseases you need to be mindful of. Especially if you're traveling, you're doing something new. Definitely be mindful of any new. Magician, the Five of Swords with the Three of Pentacles. Don't get taken advantage of. Don't get taken advantage of. Knight of Cups to the Ace of Cups to the Hermit. Dude, looks like a lady. Some of y'all getting catfished big time. So who the fuck are you dealing with? Uh, we haven't had the world card here, so I don't know what the fuck your vibe is, Scorpios. Um, that feels like catfishing energy. That feels like catfishing energy. So, there's androgyny to it. Uh, you know what I mean? How street smart and wise are you? So if you travel, do you know how to travel smart? Do you know uh, where you should keep your money? Do you know how you should sort of navigate in the world without getting taken advantage of? Um, some of y'all maybe need to brush up on your rudimentary skills. Be mindful of who's sort of taking your money. Be mindful of any sort of connection like that as well. There's like three or more on this. So this is like uh, if you're traveling and uh, someone points you out. It, it, watch any of those shorts where they have on like uh, people in Spain. Spain is really known for the pickpockets. Uh I think uh, I've seen a video where France, a woman was on the subway, getting on the subway, and there was a group that was sort of uh, pickpocketing her. It really feels like that vibe. Some of you, when it comes to your romantic relationships or partnerships, or if you're doing some sort of flirting, uh, be mindful. Because a dude looks like a lady is like catfish in energy. But there's androgyny on that, right? So, damn. What's interesting you right now? Don't let yourself get emotionally involved. And some of y'all be mindful of your... Uh, I don't even feel like this is like a connection. So you could just be flirting with somebody online and not even know who the fuck you're dealing with. There's a lot of catfish and vibes on this. Uh, that's why you need to stay out of the fucking water. Y'all ever see those big ass catfishes that can get like 100, 150 fucking pounds? You in the water and that brushes up against you, scare the shit out of you. Right? Because it feels like that. Y'all ever watch those videos? Those people that catch them by hand? It's kind of like that vibe with you. So Lord have mercy, Scorpio. 
Take what's yours and leave what's not. I don't feel like this is everybody's vibe. So, how smart are you? How much do you pay attention? Those of you that's traveling, uh, you're very smart. You're very streetwise. It's like uh, that type of energy. Now's not the time for any unnecessary risks as well. The androgyny on this is what you should be concerned with. Because it's like catfish and vibes. I am beautiful in every single way. Yeah, even how appropriate with this. I'm not even feeling like the song on this. It's uh, all the sort of makeup there, right? And then there's some respect there. That's like Leo energy. So damn. Damn Scorpios. Why is this complicated for you all of a sudden? Someone don't like the fact you're single. So you could be getting a lot of uh, opportunities. But be very mindful. I don't feel like you know the sort of vibes. You know what I mean? Uh, so some of you just, you don't really know who you're dealing with or what you're dealing with. So be mindful of that. Everyone tells you to be mindful of catfishing. If you're someone that you have to be reminded of that, then, you know, maybe take your time when it comes to something. Those of you, if you're traveling, right? Don't keep all your cash in one spot. Be mindful. None of this should be overwhelming for you. This should just be like a commonplace energy. So those of you, don't, don't get so overwhelmed. Don't feel so overwhelmed with something. Because it's just kind of what you need to pay attention to. Even though you really... It might seem a bit much. But it's something that should be sort of commonplace with you. Just a sign of the times. There's the full energy. You pulled the full twice. So where are you being complacent? There's the king of pentacles. There's the eight of swords. There's the four of cups. There's the hermit energy. High priestess energy. And there's the four of pentacles. Damn. Damn. Those of you, if you're if you're questioning why you maybe you've been a little picky or you're being a little mindful of uh, who you're dating or who's sort of in your energy, yeah, this serves to your benefit. Someone could definitely be getting readings on you. Uh, someone could be cross watching your readings, but they're seeing that you're coming up as being very stingy. But that's actually to your benefit. That's actually to your betterment as well. Those of you, especially when it comes to catfish and energy, who are you dealing with? Who are you dealing with? Basis of this is the Five of Swords. There's the Ace of Pentacles. There's the Knight of Wands. And there's the Four of Wands. Over top of that is the Wheel of Fortune. I love this 444 energy. Four of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Four of Wands. Over top of that is the Wheel of Fortune vibes. So, damn. This is when you avoid getting taken advantage of because you're actually being very mindful. So, I feel like you've been taken advantage of before. The Queen of Pentacles, and now you're being met here with this sort of Eight of Pentacles. Uh, or the King of Pentacles there with the uh, Eight of Swords. Hi, 
high priestess there with the hermit. That's like anyone that does like a... It's people that work in tandem to make something work. So who are you dealing with? What's that sort of vibe about? Some of y'all be very mindful. Just sit, sit your ass down. The fool, the sun, the king of swords. There's that sort of voice of reason. The three of wands to the two of wands to the two of swords. You shouldn't be like overwhelmed about anything. That's what makes the difference with you. Knight of Pentacles there to the Chariot. There to the Three of Pentacles. So this is like uh, the first time you do something on your own and you don't muck it up. What's your favorite astrologer on this? That Knight of Pentacles could definitely be Mars or uh, Mercury. This feels like a new journey with you. This feels like a new opportunity with you. You could be traveling somewhere new. You could be doing something new. But be mindful of what you need to be mindful of wherever the hell you go. Um, it's just kind of the way it is. Things are just far more complicated and far more... Uh, what's the word? People are far more creative now. You're in good vibes, so stay in that vibe. But you do have like a... Someone could be uh, pegging you for an opportunity. The seven feels like you're doing something new. You're trying something new. Those of you that's traveling, don't get played. I know that sounds rather simple, but don't get played. Four, four, four vibes with you. Be very mindful and be rather stingy. Some of them like the fact that you are. Damn, I love this for you, Scorpio. So there should be no drama. There should be no drama on this. What else does Scorpio need? Four cups of the King of Swords. Who's telling me to sit your ass down? Four cups there with the two of pentacles. What's your favorite astrologer? Your astrology could be switching up. Some of y'all, your moon nodes. You should be like, calm as fuck, cool as fuck, doing your own thing. Eight of cups, so you're hydrated, you're moisturized. Uh, you're not feeling like you're lacking anything emotionally. Beautiful ace of cups vibe there. There's the Capricorn energy, there's the world, there's the King of Cups, and there's the Queen of Wands. Someone does not like the fact that you're kind of doing the shadow work, you're being very mindful. So you're not taking or making any unnecessary risks right now. You've got someone around you who is trying really, really hard to get in your energy. Really, really hard. So definitely be mindful of the passionate connections. Nine of Pentacles, that feels like travel. King of Wands there to the Emperor vibe. To the Eight of Pentacles. To the Seven of Pentacles. There to the Three of Cups. To the Nine of Swords. Damn, someone keeps trying to create some sort of connection with you. And you're like oblivious to it. Oh, I love this energy, Scorpio. So, if someone's flirting, you're probably not even paying attention to that. Uh, there's a lot of talk about you. You're definitely creating some stir. But it's because you're not interested that comes back to that androgyny with you. So regardless of what gender you are, someone could think that you're just not interested uh, because that's not the way your bread is buttered. But it, it's you're just not that thirsty. So just because someone flirts doesn't mean you're going to turn it into like an overly romanticized uh, event. Um, you're, that's not even what you're interested in. 
<clears throat> you should be feeling good, though. That's the whole vibe with this. Feeling good, making smart choices. Definitely be concerned about your family planning, but also the sort of the, the health when it comes to your family planning, right? Damn Scorpios. I mean, for fuck's sake. Anything else here? There you are, Scorpio, with the Ace of Pentacles. The next Blood Moon. Ten of Wands. Eight of Swords. Page of Pentacles there with the Leo Strength card. Uh, you got like a mole energy wanting to come in. Or a rat vibe. Right? Mercury, Venus... Damn Scorpios. Keep in this vibe. You should not feel overwhelmed. You should not feel like... Uh, uh, I don't know. You should be feeling good. Street smart and wise. You're making smart choices. So if you're doing something new, you're kind of looking into it. So that way, uh, you know what to be mindful of. Those of you that are not focused on romantic relationships or partnerships, the Four of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, there at the Four of Wands. That doesn't mean you're not dating, but you could have like, uh, you just go on a lot of dates. So just because you go on a date doesn't mean someone's going to get it to go any further than that, right? Who keeps trying to get into your energy, though? So someone is trying really hard to be in your sort of confidant. Someone's trying really hard to be in your vibe. Definitely be mindful of catfish and energy. So who are you dealing with? Uh, is that really who you're dealing with? This is like street smart wise shit. So, you know, make smart choices. Make smart choices. You're kind of like Sagittarius is who's in your ear right now, vibe. Whatever you do, just be smart about it. Yeah, Will of Fortune energy. So, damn. I feel like this is Blessings energy, but you got to make the smart, right choices. So, damn. If you're traveling, doing something new, wherever you're going, pay attention to what you need to pay attention to. Every area has the the sort of scams you need to be mindful of. Uh, it's more of a sign of the times than anything else here, Scorpio. So this shouldn't overwhelm you. It should just be something that you're used to. So uh, don't be so overwhelmed with something. You've been pulling these good vibes. Which makes sense why you keep getting the sort of opportunist around you. Keep making smart choices. I feel like it's it's all like you. So I like this vibe. I like this vibe with you, Scorpios. So don't be overwhelmed. Don't let anything overwhelm you. Uh, be mindful of any sort of new energies around you. Definitely be mindful of your family planning. And your sexual health. Anything else here for Scorpios? Nah, you should be good. This should be... Mm, nothing overwhelming with you. So be mindful of something that's overwhelming. That's probably not your vibe. That's not your vibe. The Page of Pentacles, High Priestess, Five of Pentacles, Hangman with the Knight of Pentacles. 
If someone was getting readings on you to try to take advantage of you, someone's wanting their money back on something. Because something didn't work. Because that right there feels like that song. I want my money back. I want my money back. So someone's in five of pentacles. So something didn't work. This interesting sort of change of plans with you. Scorpio is a very stagnation. Trust that that was to your benefit. Don't personalize this too much, Scorpios, because some of you, this is just, you just need to be mindful of this sort of stuck, stagnant energy. Damn Scorpios. What's your favorite astrologer? Page of Pentacles there with the Nine of Swords with the Three of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. And there's the Capricorn vibe. There's a group dynamic to this, whatever the hell this is. So, uh, damn, it's like scam energy. So wherever you're going, pay attention to that. This is like pickpocket energy, uh, Scorpios. This is a uh, uh, don't go off the trails. This is um, uh, you get out of the airport and you're driving into town or you're looking for a ride into town, making sure you sort of price that out so you don't get taken advantage of. If you're traveling somewhere foreign and you're not quite sure, be mindful of what you need to be mindful of. Magician energy, the five of wands, the four of pentacles, the Pisces energy, the hangman and the hermit. Definitely watch your favorite astrologer. You avoid that overwhelming sensation. You avoid being overwhelmed. Some of y'all avoid being like sort of stuck in some overly romanticized connection. Uh, not going to be everybody, so take what's yours and leave what's not. Some of y'all definitely be mindful of uh, your wallet, your purse at all times. Faces here, Nine of Cups. There's the King of Swords. There's the Ace of Cups. And there's the Page of Wands or Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is the Aquarius energy. So who's the sort of guide energy with you? King of Swords feels like a, a, a voice of reason. Don't be so thirsty that you make, like, uh, stupid mistakes. Especially if you're traveling or you're doing something new. Because it feels like, uh, just... Too overly passionate. Too overly something, so you muck up the energy. You're pulling some good vibes. Seven of Swords with the Three of Swords. So keep making these smart decisions. You're going to be just fine. Some of y'all be mindful of your, when it comes to the emotional attachments. So for some of you, someone don't like the fact that you have pulled attention back on yourself. So those of you dealing with karmic relationships or partnerships, yeah, that shit ain't working. Damn Scorpios, I love I love this vibe with you. There shouldn't be any sort of hiccups. There shouldn't be any problems if you're being street smart and wise. So whatever you're doing, wherever you're going, pay attention to what you need to pay attention to. No unnecessary risks. And you're going to be just fine. Uh, four, four, four vibes with you. So, good luck, God bless. Take what's yours, leave what's not. Definitely be mindful of the catfishing energy. Because it is, uh, you ever see those people that catch them by hand? So, be mindful of the catfishing energy. Good luck, God bless, like, share, subscribe. Take what's yours and leave what's not, Scorpios. 
Peace, love, and light.